hello, I'm Jackie West. Today we're discussing a very hot topic in the city of Temecula, Liberty Quarry. Granite Construction announced plans Wednesday morning to resubmit its application for Liberty Quarry. Joining me now is reporter Jeff Horseman. Jeff, can you tell us what this latest application said? Well, in essence, Granite is going to try again to get the quarry, which is planned for a site right outside the Temecula city limits. And in essence, it's kind of a kinder, gentler version of the quarry according to a press release. It would be smaller, it would produce less aggregate, which are these tiny rocks using, used as a building material. It would be open only during daylight hours. It would have a shorter lifespan. I think it would be 40, 45 years instead of, uh, or 45 or 55 years instead of 70 years. And what they're trying to say is, look, you know, we still think this project has value, but we're downsizing it even more from what we already did and they're hoping that uh, this time around they're going to have uh, it's going to be successful, whereas before the planning commission and then the board of supervisors said no. Now, Granite's announcement uh, comes as the city of Temecula announced they're going to move forward with the lawsuit. What details can you tell us about that? Yeah, this lawsuit. What happened with the uh, first version of the quarry is it was ultimately struck down um, at the county level, but the Board of Supervisors, in what a lot of people consider to be an odd move, certified what's called its environmental impact report. This is a very massive study of the project that essentially concluded that a, uh, a smaller version of the project would be beneficial in terms of reducing truck traffic and air pollution. Now, the city of Temecula and the Pachanga tribe and other opponents of this project say that this report is bogus, that it's full of junk science, that it's misleading, and it should never have been certified, especially given that the county is rejecting the project itself. And so this lawsuit is going to try to block the county's move to um, certify or, or validate this report. And it was, what was interesting was that uh, we found out first that the city of Temecula, the council announced late last night that they were going to move ahead with this lawsuit. And then right around the same time, uh, Granite announced plans to resubmit its quarry application. So whether the two are connected, we really don't know at this point, but uh, certainly a lot of developments for like what you said is a very hot topic for area residents. Uh, I'm absolutely resolute that there should be no quarry built in the hills to the west of Temecula. It would be one of the worst things that ever happened to us here. Clearly, the environmental impact report is terribly, terribly flawed. And um, Temecula has to take a position to protect its interests. Quite frankly, I'm a little saddened that we now have to spend taxpayer dollars to uh, initiate a lawsuit. And uh, I'm also saddened that that lawsuit has to include suing the county. And uh, it's a difficult position because the county is now putting the city in a position where it has to spend its taxpayer dollars. Do we know what the locals in the city of Temecula are saying? What has been their reaction? Well, we can imagine that they are not pleased. A lot of people thought that when this report was certified back in May that this exact type thing would happen, that Granite would try to come back. And indeed, Granite has asked for this application to be put on a fast track. What that means exactly, we're not sure. But I think the, the scenario for people who think that this quarry is going to denigrate the quality of life and ruin uh, the Temecula Valley is that, um, you know, having this report certified, you know, that here, here we go again, you know, this is, uh, you know, coming back to us and, you know, we're going to have to fight it all over. Uh, but again, you know, a lot of people, uh, particularly as you get further away from Temecula, look at this as a source of jobs, as a source of economic development, and they're probably looking forward to it. So, uh, you know, it, it's definitely, um, you know, like I said, here we go again, and, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be an interesting few months. Great, Jeff. Thank you. A lot of good information. Of course, this is a developing story, so stay with PE.com for all the latest details. Go ahead and leave us a comment and let us know what you think. For the Press Enterprise and PE.com, I'm Jackie West.